So when we get to the StatsCan website, we often want the data tab. We do have a number, a specific uh, table that we'd like to pull up. So we search for that table. And then summary of charitable donors. We're going to go add or remove data. That is really, really important because we have a lot of data that we want to sort through and just have specific um, parameters. So one thing under geography, we want to, we can click the little plus sign. We just want Canada to be selected and we apply. And then for donors and donations, we're going to deselect most things except for all these age groups. That's what we want to graph and apply. And then we're going to look at the reference period. We're going to go all the way back lots of years here. I'm choosing 1997 to the current year and we apply. And then layout, we're going to make everything a column except reference period is going to be a row and apply. So it's just the way your table will set up. Um, reference period then comes down as each row for each year. So it's kind of a table like you would expect. Then our download options, we usually just choose the first one. And what it does, it opens, a, it gives you an Excel file. So if we open the Excel file, and I'm using not Excel online, I'll probably say that a bunch of times, uh, never Excel online, just because um, the actual installed version of Excel is much more powerful. So what I would do here, here's your table, there's a lot of notes at the bottom and the link to StatsCan where it's from, that's a good way to source your data. But here we can choose, I wouldn't choose reference period for now, I just want to get all of these headings uh, and all of that data. So I just want to highlight it all. And then I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to look for some sort of marked line graph like this one, line with markers. That's probably good. So there's my graph. I can, I can change the shape and the size of it. I kind of like the fact that we might select the headings as we did that because that's our legend here down below. It just does it automatically for you. Um, one thing I didn't do though, when I, I didn't want this to be part of the data because these are just labels for, for year. So if I go and click so that it's kind of hard, that axis has to be highlighted. And then I'm going to control click on my Mac or you right click and I want to select data. And this is kind of cool. So what I see here, horizontal, because I'm on the horizontal axis, the horizontal axis labels. If you click this little um, box in the corner and then just choose the labels that you want, I'm just highlighting them and hit enter. Then I'm able to say OK, and what it'll do is those horizontal axis labels will change to year. So I, I can obviously change my chart title right now. Um, I can also, so if I go to chart design, I can add a chart element. This is very useful. You're going to do this a lot. Axis titles, I can put on a primary horizontal and a primary vertical axis title. So maybe this one would be year and we would look at um, the average up the side.